So you've got a blog, by the way, for folks that are following along at home, they can go to Mr. Tacpans, that's M-R-T-A-C-P-A-N-S, mrtacpans.blogspot.com. And that's where not only will they find your videos, but the occasional uh, blog post, uh, text-based uh, blog post as well. But it's mostly videos, and you are pretty prolific. Uh, if, if one goes to Mr. Tankpan's YouTube channel, one will find almost 1,500 videos produced, what, was it the last uh, two years or last year? When did you start making videos? Uh, September of 2010. Okay. And what was it that inspired you? Because I know that uh, from our conversation previously, you had told me you were a, uh, a truck driver for about two and a half decades prior to this. Yeah, I, I hauled around uh, hogs and chickens and, uh, and feed for the animals. And I basically did that, but anything they needed, anybody that needed anything, it didn't matter. I was going to do it. I wasn't looking to be against anybody. I was just looking to just be there and get done what had to be done in life. But I knew something was missing. Because all, all my life, for some reason, I had this black shadow of death always over me. I can always see the end of life and what happens. And with one big void, all of a sudden, just from out of the sky, I just, you know, I was smoking a joint from out of the sky. I see this light in the sky. It was pretty much like it's not even true. It wasn't true. So I looked down at the bar. I said, this is not true. But all of a sudden, it felt like the whole area where I was started moving like the ocean. So I looked back in the sky, and all of a sudden, she tells me a number. And name and off to the hospital I was. What was the number and the name? The the, the name um, had to do with Pegasus, and the number was seventy two eighty six. Ah, see, I've been wondering when I was watching your videos, you were repeating that number quite often, and I was wondering what its significance was. So it was the first number that this uh, ethereal uh, being delivered to you. Right, absolutely, the first number. So I went to the hospital, and in the hospital, all I was doing was drawing and writing. The first thing that came up was radio. It was something all about communications and radio. And really? I started doing numerology, and I had no idea, I still don't have any idea of what I'm looking actually into. I just know I'm looking, let's say it's basically time cube. <laughs> because everything I do starts at the face of the phone. There's yeah. nine numbers on the there's nine numbers on the face of the phone. If I put that in order, it comes up to thirty six. It becomes a roulette wheel. So I jump through roulette wheel. This is thirty 